This is a Steam Greenlight trailer for Sins of the Father. Ignore the slappy noise that you just heard there. That was my dog. He's been wanting my attention for quite some time. But I've got to pay attention to this at the moment. Because I don't want to miss a frame of this. These are some blink and you'll miss it frames going on right here. Also you'll notice that there's no sound. There's just no sound. That That's just part of it. It's got the frame rate of a zoetrope and no sound. But it does have a very cool UI. I will give it that. Uh, that the, the clawed hands there. In the corner there with your soul meter and your bounty. That's pretty cool. I like that. The dog's bothering the cat now. Anyway, back to this. So what we have here is a main character uh, that doesn't share an art style with anything else. Leading me to believe that we are looking at pre-bought assets. Um, you know, I've got no... I, I don't know what assets are being used, but the very fact that the main character looks kind of uh, cartoonish and the zombies look very, well, just stock zombie game-ish. And actually have running animations that I have seen before uh, in, in quite a few Unity zombie... Oh, there's a... Uh, that's a Tyrannosaurus Rex in hell. Kind of sliding his feet along the ground. It's one thing I've noticed with a lot of these games, especially the ones that use uh, pre-bought assets, is they never get the walking animations to look right. Because they, they walk, but they never look like they're actually... They're, they've got friction with the ground, you know. The, them, them walking and them and they're moving forward are two independent things. Anyway, here's something crawling to... Well, there we are. He's come to set his dad free. I... To be honest, I wasn't reading any of the things, but that's that's the end of him. Sins of the Father, music by Kevin MacLeod, of course. I don't know what music, because there was no fucking sound. Description. A really short story. Seven days to Timothy's 13th birthday, his father dies mysteriously. Later that night, while sulking alone in the attic, Tim that's a great way to describe someone in mourning. He finds an old chest with four items. A really cool hat, a weird looking flame gun, a map, and a note which read, Dear Tim, save me, love dad, P.S. wear the hat. <laughs> that's a great way to explain why he looks the way he looks when they bought him. Tim is mysteriously teleported to hell upon wearing the hat. He must now brave this dark world and find his dad in time for his birthday. Okay, a very brief description. Sins of the Father is a small adventure game. You play Tim, a 12 year old going 13, who has to go looking for his father in hell after discovering a chest with some specific items. It, well, we already know that. Why are you being mysterious about the items? We've already read them. Anyway, travel through Tim's interpretation of hell, a dark little abandoned city with dungeons and weird parks. Enjoy this little wave based system game with end scene bot. Okay, so it's a, it's a small map with things coming at you. Sounds very much like something like the Slaughtering Grounds or something like that. But anyway, we love riddles. There are some scenes that require you to solve riddles to achieve some specific goals within the game. This is a very simple game with basic game mechanics, physics and AI. Hope you enjoy the trailers and images. Yeah. Now there's actually a reason why I picked this game. Um, because when I saw this game yesterday... Uh, they said they were number 88 on Greenlight. Uh, there's an announcement saying that basically they had a lot of um, upvotes. After three days, uh, it got up to number 88 on Greenlight. Now, that's an interesting proposition to me. Uh, because obviously if you're in the top 100, that's generally a sign that you're doing pretty well and people are voting for you. Now, I didn't see this announcement until I'm, I'm recording right now. But on the very same day, they went from 88 to 68. So, tons of people are voting. Now, why is this interesting? Well, it's interesting because I think I've worked out why so many games with shitty green light trailers get greenlit and end up on Steam. People aren't watching the trailers. See, yesterday, when I looked at the Sins of the Father trailer uh, on YouTube, uh, it had 10 views. Now, that was after they'd announced that they were number 88 on Steam Greenlight. They're now at 68, and they'd had five more views in the time since yesterday. I'll show you a, a shot now. It says 16 views. That 16th was me again. Uh, in fact, two of those views may be me uh, since I looked at the video twice. But anyway, um, we'll, 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 we'll be generous and say it's had 16 views. The, the, the video itself has had 16 views, which means no matter how many people voted for this game, 
only 16 people actually saw it in motion. This leads me to believe that most people are going off the screenshots, which admittedly look pretty competent and decent. If you just look at the still images, it looks all right, but then when you look at the, the video, you see it in motion with the frame rate and the lack of sound and just the general low production quality. It tells a very different story. Now this explains, to me at least, why we see games that, what well, you know, why Digital Homicide got, you know, three games through Greenlight last year. Why I sometimes do a game in the Best of Steam Greenlight trailers series, and then, to my great surprise, see that somehow it got enough votes to make it onto the storefront. It's because people are just voting, either because of the title, the description, or the, or the screenshots. They just look at the sheer promise of it, and it gets up. They don't actually see the game in motion. No one's bothering to actually see... Which is odd, because the videos autoplay. So, they must instantly just pause it, or not have them playing, or something. But yeah, only 16 people, counting me, have seen this game in motion. And yet, it looks like it's on track to hit the Steam storefront, because enough people are greenlighting it. I just thought that was interesting to point out. Uh, games are being, like, like, one of the great failings, I guess, of Greenlight as a concept is, it, people who are voting for the stuff, aren't even actually looking at the games they're voting for. Which just, it explains a lot. It explains a lot as far as I'm concerned. You know, I could be wrong, maybe it only takes, you know, 10 votes to get screen lit. But something tells me there's a lot more than 10 voting for it. Like a significant amount of people who didn't watch the video and, and don't actually know what the game looks like uh, said, yeah, put that on Steam and I'll buy it. <laughs> Bit weird. Bit weird.